In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create the ink cartridge with a few components in order to do that. So this is going to be a top-down modeling approach to create our, our ink cartridge. I'm going to start off with creating a new component. This is going to be called the plastic barrel. So we're going to start off with kind of the main component. With that, I'm going to create a new sketch off of the off of this front plane. And I'm going to create two concentric circles off of the origin. This is going to be a point one. And within that, we're also going to have another one with a value of 0.06. Finishing the sketch, we are now going to extrude, choosing the area between the circles. This is going to have a extrusion depth of 2.125 or 2 and an eighth. In order to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm going to go ahead and change the physical material. This one here, when I do so under the plastic section, you'll actually see that we do have a plastic which is also transparent and I'm going to grab and drop that onto the component and this material is going to work well and it has a, a correct appearance in order to continue on I'm going to have to create a new component so before I do that I'm going to go back up here to the top to activate the top level new component this here I want to call the ballpoint end and this is going to be the little brass component that goes in there. Part of it is up into the barrel, so I'm going to start off with creating an offset plane from the end of the barrel. And I'm going to make sure that this, this goes back into the barrel by, uh, this is going to be a negative 1 16th measurement. So it's not in there very far, but it is enough to hold that ballpoint in, in there. I'm going to go ahead and say create a new sketch, choosing that work plane that I just created. And from here, I'm just going to utilize project geometry. So go into create, down to project slash include, and choosing project. And I'm just going to choose the inner circle because that's going to be the diameter of the brass component. And I'm going to say OK, and I'm just going to say finish the sketch. So I don't need to have any dimensions. I'm just going to utilize the previously existing geometry to do so. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude this out at 5 sixteenths. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So here's our brass component in there. I'm going to also go ahead and now I'm going to end up creating the little ballpoint end. So this does kind of create downward. I'm going to create an offset plane from this one. So to be an, uh, 1 16th. And I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch. I'm going to just go ahead and create it on this new work plane. The circle diameter is going to go off the origin. And it's going to be a 0 0.05 diameter. And I'm going to go ahead and say finish the sketch. So from here, I can go ahead now and focusing on the end, I can loft the end of the profile that I had and choosing the circle that I just created and creating that little end down. And I'll go ahead and say OK. From here, I'll create a new sketch on the end of the newly created lofted feature that we have. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a center diameter circle that is going to match the 0.05 and say OK. In order to fully constrain it, we'll just throw a dimension on there and hit Enter, which is going to match what we want. In order to go through and do this, I'm also going to throw a line right down through the middle. So going right to the origin and going right in, going right in through the center. Now you're going to notice it's not really snapping to anything. To anything. I'm going to get it kind of close, but I'm going to go ahead and do a coincident constraint on this line to the origin and throw a, hor a horizontal vertical constraint and that way it locks it into place. Now I got two shapes here. I'm only going to use one. I could trim this up but I'm going to go ahead and say finish the sketch and what we're going to do is we're going to revolve. I'm going to choose just one half of this, select the axis choosing the line that I drew in there. You may need to go through and choose the join operation and you probably could go through and do but I think it's going to be just fine. You could go through and change this down to 180 and that would go through and achieve the effect that we're looking for. So there's our little 
ballpoint end. I'm going to right click and choose the physical material. Within that, we're going to find under the metal folder, we should find brass, which is what our, which is what our end will look like. Hit close, and now I can go ahead and go back up to the top level. So I've got the majority of my of my ink.